open graph inside of your website. Well, you should have the open graph elements correctly placed inside of your website because these days a lot of people are going to reach your website through social media. So whether it's Facebook or Google Plus or LinkedIn or Twitter, you must make sure that it's going to look well on all of these social networks so that the people who actually find um, stuff posted related to your website from other people, they're actually going to be inclined to click and go all the way to your website, thus driving, driving you traffic and thus making sure that your counter marketing strategy is actually going to work and it's actually going to hit, all right? So that's why it's very important to get this fixed. So let's talk about the open graph. Well, you can see in the code that we have in Content Look, I mean, basically in the stuff that we tell you inside of the Content Look uh, article stuff, that you can place a lot of OG and double points and then specify widths and images and a lot of stuff. But let me explain why this is very important to solve and how this is going to drive up your website traffic and get people far more engaged with whatever you have to say. All right, so let's take the example of you posting an infographic to your website. Because this is like really the easiest thing to explain. Okay, so let's assume that for your content marketing strategy and for you know the content strategy on your website, for making sure that you're gonna get good marketing with your website, or even great link building because infographics are very good for link building these days, you've actually decided to build up this infographic right here. All right, so that's the infographic. Now, if you're going to try to post this one on Facebook, it's gonna look awful, like really, really awful because it's very long. And inside of Facebook, your image is usually something like that. So that's your image in Facebook. That's how it's shown on people's timelines inside of Facebook. So that's why it's also very important to get this one, this one right. Because if you're going to do this on Facebook, they're actually going to display it really, really ugly like really ugly. So what you need to do is to set for your for your page's open graph, you must make sure that you place an image that has exactly that dimension so that it will look great on the feeds of people on Facebook. And also, if you have a video on your page, make sure that this short thing right here that's gonna be displayed on Facebook is actually going to contain the video. So that's why you need open graph inside of your website. Now, you can read the material that we have in Content Look, or there's like the easiest fix ever if you're having uh, the Squirrely SEO plugin inside of your WordPress website. So if you have a WordPress site, go ahead and download the Squirrely SEO plugin, because even in the free version, it's going to help you get all of your open graph stuff correctly implemented for each of your pages. And you don't need to write a single line of code just go to your post and you'll see the squirrely snippet. In the squirrely snippet, you can specify the exact dimension that you, that you want to have for the image and you can even upload your own image. So in your post, you basically only have the infographic, but in the squirrely snippet, you can have just this image that presents a part of your infographic. So when it gets shared on social media, only this part will be displayed on Google Plus or on Facebook, not the whole infographic. So again, if somebody's ever going to share your infographic, it's gonna look amazingly well on social networks. So go ahead, download Squirrely, and try this amazing thing for yourselves, because that's the easiest way to fix it if you have a WordPress site and you're not a technical person. Otherwise, you know, read the documentation and get it straight yourself.